to Almighty Allah for allowing me to come and stand in front of you today to speak to you, to talk to you as a mother. And before I say anything, I have to thank Aja Yasmin and the host of others that have put this gathering together to make it possible for us. Aja Yasmin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will continue to bless you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will give you what you want. You will not lack. Amen. The way you have taken this project, God Almighty will continue to help you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Haji Yasmin. And uh, the representative of Khan, Mrs. Uh, Joan Mohammed, I greet you all. I have come to Kano. This group, have, they have invited me to come. And I have come. Kano is my second home. Because we have lived in Kano for so many years when my husband was in customs. So Kano is not new to me. And you see this program we have today, the SHE, the SHE program we have today, it has to be you, all of you seated in this hall. You have to actualize the dream of my husband, Alaji Atiku Abubakar. Before we can carry out this SHE program, are you understanding me? When I was in the, when my husband was in the villa as the vice president, I never sat down idle as a woman because of the comfort of the place. I had a program called What Clef, Women Trafficking and Child Labor Eradication Foundation. These I'm still doing. Our children that have been trafficked abroad for prostitution, I brought many of them back home. About 14,000 of them I brought home. And I didn't just bring them home, I educate them. Those that want to go to school, I send them to school and up to university level. And uh, it is because my husband is in position of a vice president. That gave me an edge to do what I did. And if you all seated in this room, if you should put my husband on the saddle again, I will do wonders for you. You remember, my husband is a sellable article. That is why I have come to sell him to you. My husband was an orphan. He was brought up by his mother. That is why he loves women. Because it was his mother that trained him. And my husband has promised five things. Because he wants to give back to society. What society has done for him. Society educated him. Society gave him jobs. And he feels it is time for him. He has been wanting ever since. But I think this is the right opportunity and the right time for him. And before he does that, it is all of us seated in this hall that has to put a tickle. You have to give him your vote. He wants to give back to society what society has done for him. Atiku wants to unify Nigeria. He said Nigeria has never been divided. Ever before like this. He wants to unite us. Atiku wants to educate our children. Because he's a lover of education. He's a lover of children. Our economy is so bastardized. He wants to bring soccer to so many homes. Because now many homes cannot even feed even one square meal a day. 
because things are so expensive in the market. Ordinary matches, you cannot afford to buy. So we have to try as much as possible to drive this government away. They have caused so many sorrows to so many homes. They have caused so many sorrows. All our loved ones are being kidnapped. They are being killed. The, the, the insecurity in the country is too much. And it is only the person that knows the road that will show you the road. Atiku knows the road. That is why he has been struggling to show Nigerians the way. That is why Atiku has been struggling to rescue Nigeria. That is why Atiku has been struggling to, re to, to redesign Nigeria. So I implore you, women in this hall, please, the die is cast, 25th of this month. I think we shall all be going to the voting pool. And we have to vote the umbrella. We have to vote Atiku if we want a better life for ourselves, if we want a better life for our children, if we want Nigeria to be like when they were in government before. You know when they were in government, all the people that made up the economic team, likes of uh, Elufai, Ribadu, Okonjo Ewela, even these G GSM ma uh, machines that we are carrying in our hands, that is the mobile phone, even the railway, it was during their time. So if we want a better life for ourselves and for children yet unborn, I implore you, I'm telling you, it is an advice. Please vote my husband. Come 25th of this month. Vote Atiku Abu Bakar. Akore Yinwa. Akore Yinwa. APC, APC, they have brought so many ills to, to us, so many pains. We have to drive them away. We have to tell them that we don't need them any longer. Jama asalam alaikum. Na geshe kukuma na geshe kunde kuka ishuru yenzu.